Good afternoon, air gunners. Matt here from uh, Pitbull Air Guns. We're back out at the range today. We're going to be shooting 100 yards on the Pitbull with the 174 grain Raptor from High Arc Hunter. Uh, very impressed with my previous numbers. Uh, we're shooting an average of 772 feet per second with this. And uh, let's see what we can make happen. These bullets are too long to actually fit in the uh, factory bulldog magazine, so we're having to single load them. Tonight I will make a single shot tray on the 3D printer so we can uh, not have to do this the hard way anymore. Our weather is uh, a little wrong for this. I think we're gusting to like 35 miles an hour with an average of 20. Uh, not prime for what we're trying to do here, but hey, we take what we can get when we're hunting anyway. We don't go home just because the wind's blowing, so let's see what we can do. Seven seventy four, an extreme spread of seven. So let's go down and see how we did. All right, guys, 100 yards, high winds. I'm pretty pleased with that. I think we got a shooter. We got one flyer up here, not sure if that's me or not, but uh, about an inch and a half. I guess if you spread that out, that might be two inches group. If we get the target home tonight, I'll put some calipers on it, and see what we got. But very pleased. Let's put another five rounds on it, and see what happens. Okay, air gunners. Uh, first five shots are downrange. We had uh, about a two-inch group, and then one flyer that was a little. I'll get some. Uh, I'll get some maximum caliper measurements when we get home tonight. But we're gonna put another five rounds right over top of it and see how it does. Wind's dying down right now. Maybe we can get a better group.
and the way to pick it back up. That's our last 10 shots, or last group of five. Um, and I didn't turn the crony on. Anyway, let's go down and take a look, see what we got. Well, still pretty darn good, 100 yards. That's a pretty darn good group. We are, uh, we're about two inches. Um, I know this one's in our new group. One of these two is, and a couple of those are. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. With high winds, a minimum of 20, and we're gusting like 40, 45. I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, maybe we can get back out here on a day where it's not so bad. Okay, guys, so it's the end of the day. I've been having, uh, been having a great day out here. I also got a set of these Predator Poly Mags. They're not worth mentioning. 100 yards a group was like this. We're, we're not even going to talk about it. Maybe close range for hunting varmints and stuff, they're going to be awesome, but not for 100 yards. But I may do this video as a separate clip later on just for what I'm about to do, but I've had such good luck with these at 100 yards that I'm going to try the gateway to air guns nothing under a hundred challenge so we are right at a hundred yards here this is the 174 grain high arc hunter raptor bullet this is the benjamin bulldog that has been uh, upgraded to what we call the pit bull now i know crawl is coming out with a pit bull but we're not we're just going to ignore those guys so uh, anyway this is my entry official entry into the Gateway to Air Guns, nothing under a hundred challenge. Here we go. Our wind is still 20 miles an hour, but we're not getting as many gusts to the 35 and 40 that we were, so groups are coming down. Um, I did one of these just a minute ago. I had, I need to, to correct, anyway, we're gonna do it again. Hopefully we're all within the four minute of angle now. If any of you guys are thinking about getting one of these ATN day-night scopes for a bulldog, don't do it. Or at least not for accurate shooting. They work pretty good at night, but they're not worth a darn during the day trying to shoot accurately at 100 yards. So, this camera this camera is not portable, but I have my cell phone, so we're going to record, we're going to record, and I'm going to walk down here with you. I'm happy with that. Heck yeah. Woo! That is awesome. That's like two inch group out of a bulldog at 100 yards. Woo! I'm a happy, happy boy. Just so we show there are no other targets for the Gateway to Air Guns Challenge left out here. This, this bad boy all right I'll get this stuff filled out down here and we'll uh, submit that 
I'm happy, happy with that. Happy, happy, happy. All right, guys. That's it for me. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. All right, we're going to finish up the day here. So, once again, we were shooting the... Uh, 174 grain Raptor bullet from High Arc Hunter and uh, we got 10 shots if you count all of them including our flyer it was 3.13 inches but if you knock out that one flyer it went down to 2.18 1.85 which is pretty good for uh, having high winds which I would never ever pick a day like today to go shoot in I mean we had a 20 mile hour constant wind and we were gusting to 35 and one of the news stations said 40 so very windy day most of our wind was coming at us but it was swirling a little bit coming over the berms and things like that anyway that was pretty good before I left the uh, when it started to die down just a little bit, it stayed a steady 20-25 miles an hour. And I had a few of these uh, GTA nothing under 100 club targets in the truck. That ended up being, where was it, 1.765 inches. Just over an inch and three quarter. At 100 yards in high wind. I am very, very pleased with that. Um, I've gotten good groups with the Aero Magnum. I've gotten good groups with the uh, uh, some of the uh, Mr. Hollow Points. Um, and I think for short range stuff, I think I'd stick with something else. But for Target, and long range, that little hollow point right there is a bad boy. Um, Ron, you did good. That's a good bullet. Um, it needs to be about a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch shorter so it'll fit in the Bulldog magazine. And uh, it'd be just badass. Flat out badass. Anyway, I will be submitting that. And... We'll go from there. Um, next up, I have a stock bulldog and my pit bull. And I'm going to do some side-by-side -side numbers on not only how it's shooting, but accuracy. Uh, to kind of see how the moderator supports the barrel and improves accuracy. Um, but that'll be the next video. It'll be a few days. I've already started doing the video stuff, but I need to finish it up, put everything together. But I'm going to get this out first. Very pleased with that. Um, very, very pleased. Anyway, y'all have a great night, and we'll see you next time. This is Matt with Pitbull Air Guns. I'm out.